Welcome back to Project Old Gray, where we try to fix up my dad's old Chevy Silverado. Today, we're gonna take a look at the rear brakes, which are grinding pretty bad. My plan is to change the rear brake pads and rotors. That should fix the grinding. But while we're there, we're also gonna take a look at the parking brake, because that's not working. And I want that as a backup in case the brakes fail, which has happened before with this truck. In fact, that's the whole reason why I have it. Should have loosened these nuts before I lifted the truck up because now the wheel can spin if I'm really cranking on it. But I've got a giant powered impact wrench. We're gonna see if that works for these. And we're lucky here because the wheel is popping right off. Sometimes these can rust to the rotor behind it and it can be a real pain. It's headlamp time. Should that be spinning? Loosen it. There we go. I'm just supposed to put a little bit of slack in the lines, and I think that's enough. that just went flying. It's part of the parking brake. So if I'm, I think I wanna go in. There we go. A little more detail on that star nut so you can see what's happening when the brake shoe has one end in this notch it can't spin but this can spin so as this screws in and out it gets closer or further away from the end here stretching out the brake shoe jeez there's a clip on the bottom that holds the brake shoe in place. And that is so rusted in this case that it wasn't doing anything. It barely looks like anything. So let's see how getting this thing off goes. Dang it. Sometimes you might wonder, why do I need sockets and wrenches and other sockets and other wrenches? It's because of stuff like this. This won't fit, so I gotta go get a wrench. I cannot get a grip on this thing. Ow. This thing is getting its blood out of me. I'm gonna turn the camera off and see if I can get this. I'll be back.
Update. I made some progress. Not great progress though, because the head of the bolt came off. The rest of the bolt is still in the truck. And there's not enough room to drill it out without pulling off the hub and all that, which I really don't want to do. Robert Persig talked in Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance about how you can get stuck on a problem and it just seems like you're going to have to junk the whole project because of one stuck bolt. And he said, at that point, you got to walk away. It's time to go to bed. All right, we're back. I slept on it and I've got a plan thanks to Google. All right, into that piece of wood. Uh, I do think it's moving. Oh yeah, it's actually coming now. Yeah! Looks like it's in good shape to me. Guessing that's not gonna reach. No way. I'll stick this in an extension. Was I drilling the wrong way? Oh, this sucks. All right, switching to the drill. Smaller drill bit with one of those uh, quick adapters mounted to it. So now I can reach in there. Let's try that. So we're about that far in. That's kind of a good sign. Getting stuck. Broke it. Shoot. That's not good. This is even harder than what I was drilling before. Gee whiz. Okay, we're back and I've got a plan. To recap, we can't use the hole on this bracket anymore because there's a busted off screw extractor on the cast iron piece that's on the truck. And you might think, oh, just drill it out. Generally, drill bits aren't made to drill that stuff out. It's hard enough to drill that out that it's actually easier to just drill a hole off to the side and I'll come back with this tap. So the danger here during this process is that drill bits and taps are really hard and really brittle. And so just like the screw extractor that we broke off, if we break these off, we're gonna have to find a new spot for a new hole. Not to mention have to go buy a new tap and drill. because of my life hack here. Now I gotta try to fit this stuff through this hole and it doesn't, doesn't want to. I guess I'll just try to get it started and figure it out. Maybe that's enough that I can keep going without the tap handle. I don't wanna screw up the inside of this hole either. One good thing about tapping through this hole is that it kind of kept it straight. Okay, let's just see if that's far enough. Yes, perfect. All right. That feels good to be done with that. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we're back to where we want to be. 
Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to put this stud back in here. Hopefully I've got enough room with that brake shoe there. Really don't want to reinstall that. Yes. Okay, got the lug nut back in. And some oil to go on here before I tighten everything down on the back and the front. Looks good. I pushed the parking brake in a little farther than I planned, and then I heard a bang, and what do you know, 